What is going on my broskies, my name is Toadski, back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video, and we're back with another video talking about the treasure map ulti, which is coming out very soon, so I wanted to make sure I get a video out for you guys talking about more accessible teams. Now, I'm not going raw free-to-play this time around, I feel like we're probably going to stray away from doing just full free-to-play teams, but I definitely want to give you guys accessible teams, which is going to have some rare recruits, maybe a legend sprinkled here or two, but, you know, nothing to really worry about and there may be replacements for some of these characters that we talk about in this video today but you know if you are you know one of those people that are running teams that are accessible or more free to play centric it's going to be difficult and uh, just the way that they currently structure these events it's going to be difficult to get through them with uh, some of these characters of course but hopefully this video should help a lot of you guys out for team building for this upcoming treasure map against ulti so without further ado let's jump into the teams First one against Apu, and of course, no surprise, we're going to be using the Psy Straw Hats. Do note, though, that all of the Psy Straw Hats did receive a Limit Break expansion with the latest release. I personally have gone ahead and Limit Break expanded all of the characters, um, though there are only a couple that you probably only need to do. I feel like if you are opting for this, you know, doing it on the Luffy character is pretty good because he gets a buffed captain ability and he gets much stronger. I think Robin is also a pretty good choice, and Brook, which we're going to be using later on in this video, definitely having him maxed out is going to be super good so we'll talk more about that later but of course there's block slots attack down special bind Usopp gets rid of the special bind Robin gets rid of the block slots and the attack down and that's pretty much all you need the next boss versus Perispero, characters that are Cerebral Striker or Free Spirit get the cooldown. We're going to be using the brand new Arena Hawkins as our captain here. He's a Striker and a Cerebral Captain, so building a team around that obviously is going to be very useful. And his special is very good here because it gets rid of the slot bind that you get inflicted with. It also does end of turn damage, so it gets around the resilience. And then after we remove the slot bind, we do need to change the block slots that were given to us into matching, which is why we have Nami. She changes those into matching. And then we've got... Uh, the Pedro for a color affinity boost, we have the Ivankov for an attack boost, Luchi for an orb boost, all for our cerebral characters. This is actually going to do a lot of damage towards Perispera, and I don't think it's going to need any changing moving forward throughout the entire duration of this treasure map. Next boss is versus Basil Hawkins. Characters that are Strength, Quick, and Psy receive the cooldown here. Remember that on the final battle, he'll become either a Strength character or an Int character. So it's super ideal to have characters that are Psy or Quick in order to actually deal damage to him. So with our team comp that we have right here, it's a bit of a weird one. This is the last team that I built out of all the teams, honestly. This is the one that was a little bit tricky because of the leftover characters that were kind of left here. But uh, the way that it kind of works is, is that we have the Comoros Saki and the Frankie that can get rid of the rainbow shield. In terms of the special bind, there aren't really good characters that are boosted here that remove special bind, unless if you have, you know, the rare recruit Kawamatsu or the rare recruit Robin. If you have either of those two, definitely run it on the team. But in this situation here, we're just using the... Uh, Don Chin Jiao because he actually gets rid of block slots as well, which is pretty useful. Garp special gives us an attack boost and a full board of matching slots, which is great. And then the Brook gives us a conditional boost. So not the most effective team out there for clearing this content, but in terms of the characters that were left, it is what it is. The last of the Battle Rush bosses is going to be Olin, and this is no change to the team that I was currently using in my own build, um, because all the characters here are free to play, and uh, the support of the Oni Wabanshu on the Orochi is very required, and it's also a free to play unit. So this entire team is free to play, gets through it pretty effectively, and I don't think it needs any changes, honestly. So now we get into the more difficult thing here, which is going to be versus Kaido and the lead performers, the final boss battle in the treasure map. So this is the team that we kind of came up with. It's a bit of a weird one, but I'll explain it as we go along. Dex, Quick, and Psy characters will see the cooldown here. The battle 2, you get hit with 8 turns of despair. So of course, with your sockets, it'll go down to 5 turns, and then Sasaki special will get rid of the rest of that despair. And he also changes your free spirit characters and your powerhouse character slots into matching. So that's pretty good. But uh, of course, you are inflicted with poison slots for your crewmates, and also you're inflicted with a poison. So you do need to remove that poison. Now, we are using a non free to play character to remove that support, which is going to be the 20th anniversary Sanji attached to Kizuna Chopper that will remove the poison slots. And ideally, I forgot to mention as well, is that this is going to be using friend captain frankie so do keep that in mind 
Frankie's going to be the friend captain for this team in order to get through it effectively, not the booster Nami. You do need Frankie because of his utility in his captain ability. Now, in terms of the resilience as well, we're going to be using Perospero, and Perospero also says that if our captain is a quick character, he does end of turn damage and, and all of that, which is great, so it gets around the resilience, and also Perospero locks our slots. So after using the special of Sasaki and also removing the poison, which gets rid of the poison slots, we actually have a full board of matching slots, and we can lock them for multiple turns. So that's a huge benefit that this team actually has. Now on the final boss battle, Battle 3, the preemptive attack, he'll become either a quick character or an int character. So having dex and side damage is going to be very important. Now, in terms of removing the damage threshold, the way that we're getting around that is by, by using the Brook special. Now this is the free-to-play Psy Straw Hat Brook. When you do Limit Break Expand them, he does get double special activation, which means he can remove up to four turns of damage threshold. And then we're using a support of this Strength 20th Anniversary Nami to get rid of an additional one turn of Despair. So Brook by himself with that support does get rid of all of that Despair. The attack down is removed via Frankie's Captain effect, so we don't have to worry about that. And then, of course, the Paralysis is removed via the Chopper special. Now, on this team as well, we, as I said, we're going to be using Frankie as our friend captain. His special ability will provide an attack boost or boost for our characters, which is great. But then we've also got Vivi. Vivi is just kind of like a filler unit that's a relatively high booster, and she provides an attack boost, so we can use her on stage 2 to get a bit of a damage increase boost against the enemy. So that's the ideal situation with uh, with, with this team anyways. But, uh, you know, Vivi is definitely replaceable with other characters. But, you know, considering the fact that a lot of this team is free to play aside from like the supports and stuff um it's it's relatively excessive but it's not the greatest team out there you know if you've got some of the legends that have recently released um those would definitely be better options as captain but you know it really is dependent on what you have in your character box and here we are at the final battle versus ulti. Remember that this is the intrusion battle, which is the fight that you will take on as soon as you enter the treasure map. So with this team, Slasher, Shooter, and Free Spirit characters receive cooldown, and we are opting to use V2 Brook as the friend captain here because he enables us to survive the, the huge amount of damage that we receive upon entering the final boss stage. Now, one thing to note as well is we are using Koala as a captain. Now, the reason for that is, is because Koala has a great special that provides a huge color affinity boost so that... When we do eventually do damage on the final boss stage having a huge color affinity boost is great because remember there is an interrupt on the final boss stage which means if you use any attack boost or orb boost two of your crewmates are completely blown away which we do not want to deal with now as for this team as well in terms of battle two we have to deal with despair once again three turns of despair is removed via the sockets so five turns of despair is removed via sasaki also provides matching slots for our free spirit and our powerhouse characters which is fantastic now in terms of removing the defense up i also have rare recruit uh, musketeers honestly if you have a better character to remove the defense up that is ideal um so the uh the, the the musketeers are not perfect for this team but because there is defense down immunity you can't just outright reduce the defense you literally have to remove the the blue shield buff which is just really really annoying for this fight honestly and then ideally you would use the luffy and ace special on this team as well on stage two to give you a bit more damage boost on the fight on the on that battle two fight but uh, as we said earlier you know battle three when we enter that stage we get hit with a huge amount of damage Brook will, will survive the hit for us and we'll be below 30%. When we use the special ability of Brook, it's going to change all slots into matching, which is fantastic. And it will also allow us to use his super type because we have Luffy on the team to get the buffed chain boost as well. We have base attack boost and then Koala with the color affinity boost. I believe just with the color affinity of Koala and all the specials of Brook, I believe that should be enough damage to kill Ulti for a decent amount of time considering the team that we have. I think it should work relatively well. Remember that there is an attack down depending on your chain. If your chain is below 3.2, you have a like a 90% attack down so you have to deal with that so that's why Brook has a really good special because the chain boost that he provides is just monumental and then like only Wabanshu is just kind of like a filler character I'm not really too sure what color the the boss is on battle 2 because it depends on what color that boss is you may want to switch out only Wabanshu with another character there aren't many quick characters on this team so potentially adding another quick unit is a valid option so with all of that, hopefully you guys are well prepared for the upcoming treasure map versus ulti. If you guys enjoyed the video today, make sure to go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all of the content that I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I will see you guys within the next video.